Yo, welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kicks. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you all for subscribing to the video. I want to thank everybody for all of the comments and the likes, and I really appreciate it. If you haven't been liking the videos, please hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Share the videos. Comment. Thank you. So we back with another shoe review. Um, I, I don't know if a lot of you check out my Instagram or even my Facebook, my Carl's Kicks, same logo on Instagram and Facebook, but I got a pair of uh, Fragment Dunks, the Beijing 2021 Dunks in, and right now I'm in a dispute because the shoe was worn, so I just want to talk to y'all about that for one second before I get into the shoe review that I'm doing. So as you can see, all the creasing on the heel, shoe was worn. Now, um, that's kind of a big deal for me. Um, Cause like let I I buy a shoe to crease it up myself if I wear it, um, but this is really what what killed it for me. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you see that black mark there on the white that scuff. Now look at the black leather. It's a big scuff on there. It's kind of hard for you guys to catch it, but let's see right there. You see that big scuff line here? Something there, and then it's actually. Another one close. There we go. You see that? Right here. Scuff, scuff, scuff. So, I'm in a dispute about that because these shoes are worn. Um, you can see crease in here. So, I mean, I, I, the first First thing I noticed when I picked up the shoe was a scuff. Now I'm not gonna cap on this shoe. I didn't even notice the creasing. So I mean I can get maybe how, you know, I can't. If you do this all the time and y'all don't accept you shoes, I don't understand how you miss this, to be honest with you. But as soon as I picked up this other shoe, I saw the scuff. It's it's evident the shoe's been worn. And then if you just keep looking, you see all the creasing from somebody putting it on. So I'm in a dispute with that they Wanted me to send pictures. I sent pictures. First, you got to send pictures to even start the case. Then they email you, like, send me some more pictures. Send them. Then they, like, email me some more pictures. So, I've emailed them three separate times pictures. And then I also went on Twitter and Instagram. And then, of course, as soon as I went on Twitter, they, they messaged me back very promptly. So, uh, I'll let you guys know what happens on that. Probably on my Instagram or Maybe on another shoe video I do. Um, so yeah, so I was kind of upset about that. But on the same day I got those shoes in, I had ordered these. So this is what the review will be about. These are the Ama Minier Jordan 3s, okay? Um, now everything was okay with these. Legit checked them. Everything was perfect. I've never really had a problem with StockX. Um... I'd say that's my first problem, and so I'll see how they handle that. And it and I buy a lot of shoes from StockX, so we'll see how this goes. Um, this will make or break my the relationship. I don't know if they know that, but anyway. So I'm on my year threes. I'll let you guys look at that label. Now this is a women's shoe. Um, the name of this shoe or the theme of this shoe, inspiration of the shoe is raised by a woman. Okay. And Ama Minier means in my own way, okay? Um, so the label reads, Women's Air Jordan 3 Retro SP. White slash white medium gray. 13 and a half women's, 12 and men's. Okay? Retail price was $200. Did I pay $200? Hell no. You know I took an L on sneakers. They might have had it on their site. I didn't even try that or didn't know about it. Um, so my purchase price on the shoe was four sixty. After sales tax, processing fee, and shipping, that's forty, fifty, sixty. That's almost seventy dollars for sales tax, processing, and shipping. So I ended up paying five twenty one for the shoe. But it is what it is. Okay. Now, a lot of people were saying that they think this is a, um, got a new tattoo when I was out in Mexico. 
So that's why I got my sleeve up, trying to let air out. Anyway, um, a lot of people have been saying this is going to be a contender for shoe of the year. Um, I like this shoe a lot. Um, it's been a lot of fire shoes that have come out. So, I mean, I don't know if I'll be the guy to so, uh, pick a shoe of the year. So, this is what the box comes in. It's the uh, Alma Minier logo. It's the A with the, you know, the underscore. And it's basically facing up and then facing down. Um, it's like a translucent kind of plastic. It's a thunder sound it makes. <laughs> Um, now I think that I'm gonna do a black light test for you guys on this too, and while I'm talking, I'll do some kind of like little legit checks that you can do. Um, it's gonna be hard because I don't have another one, and um, you know how to colors. But basically, the, this is here is a gray color, and the top is like a cream. It's not really white. It's like a glossy cream, and the box is gray. Okay, uh, top of the box. You got the uh, Jumpman symbol, which is that kind of uh, like a cream purplish. I don't even think that they have that color on here, what they call it. No. Um, and then the jump Jumpman logo will be that same color. Now, on the tag of the shoe, that Jumpman logo will be gold. Okay. All right, we open up the box. Nothing on the lid. Nothing on the inside of the lid, okay? Now the paper for the shoe, even though mine is a little ripped, is going to be a translucent paper too. And it looks... So one is translucent. One side is shiny. One side is kind of dull. But uh, you should be able to see through it for kind of... You know, it's... So on the fake pairs, from what I've seen, it'll just be the white piece of like um you know paper that's in there the plain white paper and it only have print on one side this paper should be like a clear translucent kind of paper and um you should be able to see the letters on the other side of it okay if that helps sorry i mean all right before we get into the shoe um i just want to so you should have the ydm sticker in the box and with that YDM you want to make sure it's lines going through it okay let me see if I can show you guys on here probably not ah yeah so if you see right there it's lines going through that YDM sticker that's how you know it's a legit one you got a YDM sticker and it's just solid no lines going through it it's a fake sticker okay all right um that's it with the box, okay? Um, it does have this white kind of shiny thing on it, kind of like Travis Scott Forrest had that. It doesn't move. All right. Boom. Let's start with the right shoe. Okay. I'm a Minier Jordan 3, raised by a woman in your own way. Um, personally, to me, super... Oh, excuse me. Super dope shoe. All right. So we got like the off white eggshell color here on the bottom, which matches the lace locks, lace holders, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Going around back. That off white kind of color follows up on, an, on a, the heel tab with the Nike, with the gray Nike Air. This color, I'm not sure what to call it, but it's like a it's like a cream, like just like if you mix purple with some mayonnaise, it's cream, like a cream purple. All right. Um, going around the shoe, as you can see, we have this um, this uncut brown leather look to it, and that goes all the way around, really everywhere on the shoe. Okay. Um, I gotta say, gray Nike Air. Back of this pull tab, this is the right shoe. It's going to say, need to get comfortable walking alone. Let's see if I can get you guys a picture of that. Now, I do know that they were saying that the fakes have that now. The inside of this shoe is going to be quilted, all right? And it's stitched, all right? Yeah. The stitching on it is going to be like a, it's going to be gray, okay? 
and that's on the back of the tongue as well. Um, shoe trees is gonna say die cut sock line. It has that right in there. Um, wow, that quilt is gonna. So that's my dog's excuse me. So it stops right here on the side of the shoe. But this tongue, it continues all the way down in that shoe. So that's pretty cool. Now, the right shoe has a jump man on the tongue. And it's, it's going to be that gray color. It matches, you know, with the inside of the shoe and the, the gray here. So it has a jump man on the tongue. And then on the inside, it has the I'm on my year logo. Okay. Um, now, on the shoelace tips, one is going to say work. One is going to say harder. Now, you should have this on the white ones work. And then you should also have it on the second set of laces. Um, and on the fake ones, I, I noticed that they missed those from what I saw. And then you got harder. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Harder. Um, and on the second set of laces. Jesus. My chair almost fell. Sorry, guys. Um, it's a fold chair and I'm leaning in it. Okay, so I'm not going to take these out, but as you can see, work, and then you see harder. Now, uh, the cut on this leather, as you can see, it's like a three. It's low. You don't want to see a super high one. Same thing in the back. This is pretty low. You know, it got the Nike Air. On um, the fake ones, they kind of like super big. Um, yeah. So, the smell it should be that fresh shoe smell because this doesn't have any synthetic leather synthetic leather throws off the smell if you ask me um that's what I, what i've noticed okay so excuse me i just woke up it's a little coffee okay so now we're going to the left shoe now if you notice the left shoe has the ama Minier logo on the tongue right shoe had the jump man so this one has the jump man has the symbol on the side so this one is going to be vice versa. We have the Amami on the tongue. Jump man on the inside, okay? Now these laces do say work harder as well on the tips. Working harder. Uh, it comes with this Amami year tag, which um, the font on it should be really nice and pretty, okay? So let's see if I get you a close-up of that. So the font should be, look really nice. Everything should be straight, clean, nothing smudged or smeared. The fake ones, it looked like it just wasn't, you know, good, good print. Everything was kind of like nasty, smudgy, wasn't clear. So that should look really good. Then we got the Nike Air logo. And it's really dope that he put Nike Air on his shoe and got this badge. And that color is the same color here as on the heel. So it's just the, the Nike Air. Okay. Um... Oh, and on the back of this shoe, the heel tab, it says... All we have is each other, which is big packs. So, oops, sorry. All we have is each other. Um, we got the Nike Air in the back, obviously. Um, Air shocks in the inside are going to be like that cream color. Um, the shoe is really clean. It's a really clean, nice shoe. It's really no glue stains. It's, it's nice. I mean, you know, we got the stars, you know, on the toes, the classic three bottom. We got that purple color here and here on the Nike. Um, still quilted on the inside. Um, this suede is really nice and thick. I don't know if you can see it's really, really nice. Um, yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to just do a quick black light test for you guys. I mean, you can message me on Instagram or something like that if you got these and you want to make sure that they legit or something like that. Um, pretty much, I mean, really just... Um, color of the 
shoelace eyelid should kind of be the same color as this. It's going to match. It won't be exactly the same because this is a paint. This is a plastic, but they shouldn't be super yellow like the off-white five, off -white five vibe. Um, this leather should be showing in the in the lace holders, that, that leather cut. You see that brown leather? And that's going to be on both of them, on both sides. And that, that is really going all the way around the shoe everywhere you can see that exposed of that brown um yeah and the lace tip should have the work harder on it um you know your cut in the back should be nice and clean the smell you make sure the stitching is clean you know so uh, let's see how this black light is gonna go okay now i had i don't do it in complete darkness Somebody messaged me and said I should. Um, I mean, that's as dark. It's daytime right now. The blinds are closed. That's as dark as I can get it. And I still think that you can see this effective. Out of the thousand views I got on that video, only one person messaged me about um, it being dark. And I was doing it like that in the closet. But um, yeah, I still think this is sufficient enough for you guys to see what's going on. So, um, give me a second, actually. Oh, here it is. I was looking for my black light. Now, let's see. I believe this is going to be beneficial or, you know, it's going to be fine. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah. So, you can see that instantly. Hit the shoe with the black light. Obviously, white laces glow. Stitching glows. You can see that. I'm gonna tuck these in so we can hit it from the side. So basically the stitching is the only thing that's going on this shoe. Stitching everywhere, okay? So actually, um, what I'll do is turn this a little bit. Okay. Uh, just so it won't be so much, okay? So, um, stitching, as you can see the stitching in the toe stitching on the shoe now you'll see a little glue front on the suede you know but it is what it is inside the uh shock see that that's glowing um you can see the stitching is glowing there's some glue glue stains on the shoe you can see that um so Stitching here is glowing. Stitching all around the shoe is actually glowing. Nothing in the back lights up. Just the stitching, okay? So. Laces and the stitching is the only thing that glows. And the air shock. Inside the shoe, well, let's hit these yellow laces. Yellow laces, nothing. Inside the shoe, I mean, no, let's just, no. Now, I will say, when you hit the black light on this gray inside this shoe, it looks like it turns like a purplish color, as you can kind of see how that looks. So, that's, it's gray, and then you hit it with the black light, it looks like it's purple. Um, That's really it. So the only thing you're going to see is the stitching lighting up and some glue stains on the shoe. Um, st the shoelaces and the stitching on the shoe is what's going to light up. So, and again, you see that stock X tag. That's how you know if it's a real one. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have received some different ones from stock X, but usually if you got one that looks like this, you hit it with the black light, you'll see the X in it. As you can see, just the stitching is lighting up on the shoe. Um, actually, this Jordan tag, I mean, it's clear, so it's just kind of, but it's, it'll light up blue <laughs> on, on the back side. So, see how it's gray? You hit it with the black light, that gray looks like it turns purple, the blue lights up. And that's like the, that's how it's looking. Okay. The 
cardboard tag doesn't do anything. guys uh, what's going on so that's pretty much it to that shoe um, hopefully that was helpful for you guys um, so that's really gonna be it for the video and again I'll keep you guys kind of in touch on what's going on with those fragments and uh, thank you guys for tuning in Really appreciate it, and uh, we out of here.